Hi everybody, it's Thelma. I thought I would show you how I store my stamps and dies. All my stamps are in here and this row and this row that are not holiday themed. So what I mean by that is I have a bucket here and a bucket here. Now this one is just Christmas stamps and dies. This one is, other one is Easter. I have another one for St. Patrick's Day. Um, I also have more um, wooden Christmas stamps. So underneath in the bottom here are flowers and birds. And this one, these are my wooden ones. As you can see, it's a hodgepodge, you know, kind of mixed up. So, and little stamps. Bird, I got a bird house. Just, so. that's top one. They're quite, it's a three uh, wooden shelf. And this one has, uh, there's all my alphas in the back there. There's numbers, bow bunny numbers. Those, I think that's the only number ones I have. More flowers. has, and it's got one letter missing. See, there's small. So, unfortunately, but that's, I wish I had numbers like that, of that size too. So, I got word sentiments just. Flowers and leaves, and some of these, like this one, it's got like hello. Uh, Bobby Jo just did, and she said she has got um, uh, on the computer, and she has pictures of her dyes. Well, I don't have anything like that so um ones that i have for uh cards basically i have in another area with birthday and that kind of stuff in there just by itself and i will show you that in another video Teapot. These are just a few extra pots and pins. This one in here are some of my girl stamps. My girl wooden stamps. I need to keep them out. So it's a good thing I went, did this video because I, I'm just going to set this on the table. There. Okay. This second one down here. See this one? It's I've got a couple of really big um, stamps. This one's got fairies and Christmas. I don't have a lot, so 
so I've gotten a good idea where most of my snails are. And these are people in fairy, um, butterfly animals, birds. Journal. Odds and ends. So I keep them in the front. And then for for a holiday, what I have, this is my Christmas. And I have all my dies in these packages. And if it has a stamp and die, I put my, in the back, my dies. This one? No. Nope. I do have a few that have stamps and dies. See this one. This one here. And now I've got my dies there. And I usually put down that I'll put down die. So I'll, I, I usually put die down somewhere on this. I have a white piece of paper or cardstock behind my stamps. And I can see what they are a lot easier instead of just leaving it clear. So, and then I've got my Christmas punches and some little stamps. So, but I have everything like with like. The same thing, that's why I have Easter in one. I've got my Halloween in one. I have got and dyes and inks and punches. Anything I have, I have it all together in one container. And then because some of it is spring, I actually put a piece of paper or tape, put uh, spring on there. That way, I know where they are. There's my dies. This one has got, see, and I've got my, my die there in the back. I don't have a lot of stamps and dies sets. So that's how I've done it. And I've got my wooden stamps in here. Uh, some old ones. I've got some washi in there. Just because I'm working on it right now. If you have any, any other ideas, questions for me, I will be showing you the rest of my, and here for this one, I have dies. I have um, just variety in the front. I've got a section for flowers. I've got a section for animals, butterflies, journal. I've got quite a, getting um, a more of a handle on my dies now. So I'm getting, so the point that I really don't need very many more dies at this time. I would like to get a couple of more pockets dies, but other than that, because I do make a lot of journals, so, um, but that's about it for now because I've got so many now. 
I've been really stocking up. So, anyway, I will let you go, and I will see you all around in another video. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Take care.